Now, let me run through 10 ways, and that's how I'm going to end, end the message. But I want you, when it comes up on the screen, it'll come in two different uh, groups here, so you'll have it. And you can work on this in your small groups, in your life groups, in your own personal life. Here it is. You ready? Ten practical decisions based on the five ways to master your money principles. Here we go. Number one, write a good resume. Write a good resume. Get with an HR professor, uh, a professional. Write a good resume. In fact, if you don't know how to write a resume, if you have a resume, if you want me to look it over, I'll do it for you. Just send it to me. Go to info at andersonspeaks.com. I love getting people's resumes. Why? It helps me get to know them. Most of us don't know everybody else's background, and it helps me to network and connect people, and I love it. I love the fact that people have gotten jobs, gone into careers, all because of uh, matching people up. It's one of the things I just love to do for people's success. If you want to send me your resume, send it to me, okay? Info at andersonspeaks.com. Number two, network with as many quality, focus-minded people as you can. All right, we have net networks of friends and family, but I'm talking about purposeful, strategic networking with quality and focus-minded people who can take you in the direction that you want to go. Number three, strategically partner with others who are doing what you want to do. So if you know that's the career you want to be in, that's the ministry you want to be in, that's the direction you want to take, then strategically partner with, with others who are doing what you want to do. In other words, do good business with good people and align your services. Again, I love hooking people up from one business to another business to watch them come together and then make, make, make lots of money and, and, and have lots of joy because they are strategically partnered. Number four, get advice from wise counselors. Many of you have heard Proverbs 15, 22. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. So get advice from wise counselors. Number five, real practical stuff. Protect yourself legally. Protect yourself legally. There are tax shelters, all right, which are legal, um, but get an LLC. It costs you less than 500 bucks, and that's called uh, LLC Limited Liability Corporation. So when somebody pays you money, if it goes into your LLC, if anybody sues you, they only get what's in the LLC. They don't get your house, okay? Again, you can talk to someone about this. Number six, give something away this week and watch something beautiful come back to you. Regardless of where your money is, and your, give something away this week, real practically. What can you give away? It could be money, it could be some material possession, but I'm challenging you this week to give something away. All right, in the name of Jesus, give it away. And watch something beautiful come back to you because this is the rule that God's given us. You sow generously, you will reap generously. So test God in this, and he says you can actually test me in this. Number seven, aggressively pay off and avoid unnecessary debts. Aggressively pay off and avoid unnecessary debts. Number eight, ask God for wisdom in financial trials. If you're going through a financial trial right now, ask God for wisdom. He'll give you the wisdom for it. And we need God's wisdom so we don't keep making mistake after mistake and putting bad money uh, after bad money or good money after bad money, okay? Number nine. Get your last will and testament settled or a trust. A last will and testament settled or a trust. Now, we use McCollum & Associates, uh, the McCollum firm. We used them for years. One of my folk that I advertise on my show, he's also a partner in our church. You want a last will testament, you want a trust, call him. You can go to the McCollumfirm.com. Now, this is important because you never know when you're going to go, right? And you don't want the state to just take your stuff. And guess what? They will. And so put it in a trust or put it in a last will and testament so you have that settled. I know but nobody likes to talk about, talk about death and all that, you know, but you take away the sting that death leaves when there's not debt after your death. Because if you do die and you have all this stuff left, guess who gets all that? All your people got to figure it out. At least I know when my mom dies, everything's taken care of. She's been talking about dying for 25 years. She <laughs> ain't gone yet, mom, I love you. But reality is, 87 years old, and mom since her 50s have told us, listen, this is my plot. It's right next to your father's, okay? It's all paid for. This is the, <laughs> this is the dress I want to wear. Maybe that's where I get it from. I told Amber, put me in my white suit. Oh, okay, I want them to be at the funeral, okay? And I want y'all to go eat potato salad and fried chicken after it's all done. I don't care. I don't want it to be all sad. I mean, I want you to cry for a minute and make me feel good even though I'm not there. But then after that, like, just go ahead and have a party. I don't even care, but I want to look good. She's like, I want to be cremated. I said, look, you keep acting up. I'm not going to cremate you. 
<laughs> you know, and, and she said, you keep acting up, I'm, I'm going to cremate you. So, you know, you got to have your own uh, family conversations about this. But death is not something necessarily that anybody likes talking about. All right. Um, here's another one. I think this is number 10. Yeah, it is. Get financial mentoring. Get financial mentoring. Find someone who you can go to to talk to you about this. And you can do it at Bridgeway, too. I mean, Betty Shepard and, and Greg and other folk who are part of our ministry can really help you deal with this. They have a uh, financial boot camp. They have mentoring. So go to our website and check out how you can do this, okay? Bridgeway.cc slash ministry slash support. Don't leave your kids with your debts. And instead, leave them with your blessings. Listen, I know I gave you a lot today, but I'm excited about it because if you actually get this right, your whole uh, family will be blessed and your children's children's children will be blessed. How cool would it be if you didn't have a mortgage? How cool would it be if you didn't have any debts? How cool would it be that you would be the lender and not the borrower? How cool would it be if you could treat for lunch?